Right then, all of you, we have a game now called Card Life Creative Survival. I'm not exactly sure what it involves. Uh, my understanding is that it involves cardboard and um, possibly some form of Minecraft like gameplay. Display name, okay, so I'm assuming there's multiplayer possibilities. And for some reason I have caps locks on. Um, must be a thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Accept. You accepting? Yes, you are. Thank you. Community news. Uh, play online. Host slash single player. Okay. New tools, new feature, new uh, creator shares, and the like site system. Second phase of our. Ah, great. The chainsaw and the jackhammer. Okay. So yeah, by the looks of it, this is just this is a interesting possibly, uh, possibly need to take on Minecraft. It's a new creature Taurosaurus. New creature has made its way onto the land of cardboard. Taurosaurus. This new dinosaur is the A1 representative for its species, which rounds off all four types of creatures in A1. You'll be able to find them at the value of the beach in the forest. Okay, they're big, I think. Right, anyhow. Options. There is very few options. Ah, here we go. Okay. Voice chat volume? That's... that's interesting. Does this mean that it will actually pick up on... your microphone if you have one enabled? And allow you to talk to players in the game? If you're on a world play. Okay. It, 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 I'm not sure it's safe for a cardboard person to be next to a fire. Yeah, right. Yeah, single player. Single player offline. Single player online cloud save, multiplayer session. Creative mode, no. Well, the Uh, that's turn on. That's clearly turn off. Priority, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, play. Let's see how this goes. Right. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, let's just say I've had a few problems with the offline version, so I've had to try for the single player online cloud save version um yeah i'll have hopefully skipped out all of the rubbish where nothing was happening but still uh create your character so at the second you got a stencil a pencil scissors um oh and a selection of Body locations by the looks of it. Uh, 
Okay, you can change the arms. Yeah, arms, legs, head. Alright. So, uh, let's go for a basic shape there. Roughly keeping with the shape that it's suggested. But neither my art skills or my mouse skills are particularly great, so I have no idea what that bar below means. Uh, it could be how much pencil you have, possibility. Possibly, I don't know. Yeah. Let's have a look. Ah, it might just be a maximum of what you're allowed to do or minimum no Uh, how'd you go back? Back, 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 back. No. Fine, let's start that again. We have no guide this time. Because apparently, it doesn't like me. So it's going to look very shitty this time. Okay, not as awful as I thought, but still. Uh, let's see your mouth. Ah, I see. You have to use the scissors to design an area for cutting out. That's interesting. Uh, right. Hmm, okay. Apparently you can't do... I don't know, you can do. It just wouldn't do. Try for something slightly more interesting. I did not say to finish that off. Yeah, sure, let's go that. Uh, 
Apparently even crap cutouts <laughs> look slightly alright. Interesting, okay. So seemingly it has to be a big enough hole for it to recognize. No, nope, that is bloody awful. Let's try something a bit closer to that. Oh. Bit closer to what it has. As the basic version. Go for something a bit better than a heart on the heart. I was not finished there. I used the wrong tool anyhow. But not finished. Apparently you have to be very careful with scissors. Who would have guessed? I'm assuming that if you were to... Oh, that's wrong. If you were to have left it as um, well without drawing it you would be left with the bog standard model Excuse me, also just add a little bit of design. It's still too small. No, what? Thank you. Oh, at least it's kept the design from last time for me. And that 
Let's see how should I do this. Nope. No. She let me draw things. Really, no. That's apparently the closest I'll get to be able to do that properly. Alright, this is the arm, so... Draw its basic shape. Interesting, okay. This is going to be a very difficult thing to draw without it cutting it out too early. Okay, that actually looks better than planned. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, that's got a slightly more knee-like appearance in there for legs. Sure. No, let's keep it in, yeah, sure. Sorry, that's taken an age. Possibly bored now. Uh, yeah, couldn't be bored with a name for it. It's just called character. So, sure, we'll see. Character. Um, it's looking like it's kind of getting dark. Well, that's the first thing I really want to hear in a new world. And I've got nothing, literally nothing. And there appears to be a creature over there. So I'm just going to punch holes in this tree. Well... That that was handy. Will this load up? Will this be the right file? Who knows? Right. Uh, okay, I appear to have passed the night, and there is. I'm hoping there's a giant cardboard cow. I'm not wanting to get too close to whatever that is at the moment. Still. Uh, yeah. I have no idea what happened. So, hopefully... I won't have lost anything much. Still. Let's try chopping down a tree. Or punching down a tree. Yeah, I 
are really not liking the sound of those wolves right now. Timber! That's a lot of wood. Collect wood and resin by the looks of it. Alright. Hi, wasn't it? Uh okay, player name and bits don't seem to be working possibly, I don't know. Um Right, to to let's get try and get a hatchet if I can. Uh what does it require? Okay, it needs some Fiber. Long strands of fiber that can be harvested from flax bushes. Right, okay. Apparently, I need to go find bushes to flail up. Uh, is this a bush? Plant matter and starberries, okay. No, get back you. I have fists. Oh, it makes such a cute squeak. I'm not sure I want to know how they got those noises. All I know is I'm getting hideously injured. Okay. Well, I think I can see where this is going to be going, so uh, yeah, I'll call that an end for this game. But I think you get the general gist. Very pretty. <laughs> okay, it's remembered that. Yeah. Yeah, I appear to be having online connection issues at the moment, possibly. Yeah, you get the gist. You require certain items. Go around punching things up to you collect them, so you can make more items, and so on, so on, so on. You need to eat food, blah, 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 blah. Right, on to the next game, then. Right, and the last game I'm going to show you from uh, hey, going? this collection is called Slime Sun Super Slime Edition. Right, yes, uh. I've already played through a small bit of this. You are a slime. You have been eaten by a giant snake. You must go through levels to uh, make your way out. As you travel through its uh, intestines. Outrun the raid. Yeah, basically if you don't get through a level quick enough a large wall of red will start to oh, damn it. climbing uh, after you different uh, di Different buttons allow you to do different things. Stand button is jumping. I'd say. On the trigger buttons will allow you to phase through that green slimy stuff. And also slows down time for a short uh, for a short while. You'll notice that there is apples. 
led about the um, area. It was basically work as a bonus. Collect them all, get a lot of points. Something like those lines. When I, uh, also, when I said slows down time, it slows down the movement of you, well, the movement speed of you, enemies, and anything being fired. It doesn't slow down time on the clock. That continues progressing at a normal speed. Another button, as you can see, does a trigger, but well, it does a uh, dash. What you have to be careful of is not touching anything red, as that will kill you. Dash will allow you to jump up higher and also to break certain uh, objects. than slime travel. Oh yeah. Oh. So yeah, it's kind of a cute puzzle game. With basic physics and everything. Uh, pretty simple. Okay, apparently there's a zoom button as well. I'm not sure what purpose that's supposed to solve, but uh, all it did was trick me into spending a bit of time I did not need to waste. This game is probably a perfect one for anyone wanting to speed run. Because it requires a hell of a lot of skill. We got squad two Duck Norris. I heard there's a town of survivors in here. That, that, that's nice. Um, oh, hello. Okay. Diver? Whoa. Buddy. Look, there's another dude here. Nice to meet you. My name's Diver, and that little bug over there is Buddy. Okay. So, when I was in a hurry previously to uh, get through the level because there was something descending on my head, I didn't get a chance to uh, read what's. Chatty boy was saying. Uh, apparently, it was going to be introduced me into this guy. Go. Uh, one with these red wing flaps. So I'm addicted to wingsuit diving. But he warned me this will get us in trouble. But I didn't listen. I mean, come on. Who would have thought this cave was actually worm? Yeah. There's time survivors in here called Stump Town. That is awesome. All right, I guess I'll see you there, little dude. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, I have no idea. And you can either exit to the level site or to some town. Sure. Um, ow. So, yeah, as you go through. Difficulties increase. But with a little bit of practice, you can generally make your way through it. 
real difficulties if you're trying to collect the apples. Oh yeah, and you can also double jump. That level is a very handy one to just keep the time slow on. Purely because it just makes avoiding everything so much easier. Uh, let's see, giant blocks. Can you boost that way with your. Dashing headbutt. Yeah. I keep thinking those bits on the ceiling are spikes. It's not, is it? Well, it might be, I don't know. Most, most deadly things are red, so... I think I'll just avoid the many out. And if you shoot off screen, that also kills. How nice to suddenly remember that. Correctly, this game is also set up to work with Twitch, so that you can have things such as um, viewer interaction. I believe it is. Where cast votes or something along those lines. and uh, make things more difficult for you or something along those lines. Come on, let's do it there. An interesting way. Stop! I really wish you'd stop walking into those spikes. Lock that off. If a, rec if a uh, level notices that you've been on before and got the apple wheel, even his apple core, which is a nice little Easter egg sort of thing. Not much of a time for trying to escape everything in this one. But once you know the routes, it's not that difficult.
stupid wormy, stop chasing me, right. I wish it wouldn't give me cutscenes of information when the timer is counting down. It's a little unfair to try and read it when reading the entire thing will just get rid of all your time. I have no idea if the green bugs do anything, I don't intend to touch them and find out. Okay, apparently the green ones do nothing. Jump pad monsters. How? Pay more attention to the spinning discs of doom. I swear I shouldn't have been hit by that one. Come on. Okay, maybe I'm just a bit impatient. Ow. Bad plan. Bad plan. Do 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 do. Oh. Why the hell did I turn it last second? Fine, screw you Apple. I'm gonna get you. Another time. Get this apple and this level. <sighs> ha! Did it. Yeah, I'm definitely not trying for the apple on this one. I remember this level. I 
I don't remember having done it that quickly before. Doo -doo. And I think I shall call that the game. And with that, I'm calling it an end to the collection. Or at least what I'm going to show you of it. There's plenty more that I haven't shown you. Seriously, if you like games in the slightest, even especially indie games, I highly recommend getting this pack. 35 American dollars. Yeah, it, it can be a bit for some people, not much in comparison to most game driver console or anything these days. Especially for not for the amount of games you're getting in this collection. Hell. But, uh, yeah, sure. All money is going to chat, goes to go to charity. Your choice of charity as well. So, again, if you're just in the mood for giving money to the charities, do it, give the games away to someone. Or just be good. Yeah. See you next time. Like and subscribe if you want to. It helps.